Lol. Hey, you know what? There's another name you might know me by. Star Lord. Who? Star Lord. Hey, welcome to the one Lord channel. Today we are going to rank up Star Lord. Four stars. Star Lord to rank five. Rank three to rank four. Then rank four to rank five. So these are his stats, which you will see whether they increase or not. As I rank him up to rank five. Visionary, he's a tactician. You know, he can come up with 12% of the plan in an instant. Now he's also a bit kind of sense of mana. No, he's half Spartan, half Earth. Half Earthling. Should I say Earthling? Earthling. Anyway, I love his character in this game because his signature ability makes him very, very strong. Every time he's a combo, you're you gain about 44% damage or 40% damage or whatever the percentage damage based on your signature level. Signature ability level. So signature ability level 40, you gain around 44 percentage, which is almost a fury percentage kind of stuff. So it's like every time he's like getting a fury that can be stacked, but you lose it all once you lose the combo. So it can deal a lot of damage and it's very good against champions with high health and fights which are, you know, opponents with very high armor so you are not doing a lot of damage so you try to get as many as high a combo as possible so you can deal a lot of damage. But in a tight spot, Starlord can help as well because he gain blocking proficiency with every 10 hits of your opponent so it's not bad. He it has both, his signature ability consists of both offense and defense not like some champion signature ability which consists only on defense or consists only of offense type. Starlord is good, it composes the best of both worlds and it's very decent character, he moves very fast, he fights very fast, his, his special attacks are very interesting, very nice. He has a very nice mechanic with his element gun for his special attack number 2 and special attack number 3, which is element gun and heroic blast. His heroic blast is kind of fun, as you see his signature ability. Not his signature ability, his, his special attack, not signature ability. Oh, what am I saying? Alright man, Starlord. Starlord is a cool guy, he likes to listen to 80s music, he likes to dance. He can dance off, do a dance off with Ronan, distracts Ronan, but he can't do that again. It'd be funny if, you know, when you use Starlord's the special attack with Ronan, it really can generate a different kind of animation, like a dance off animation, that would be very interesting. But I don't think that will be happening anytime soon. Maybe, perhaps. Kabam, can you make it happen? That would be very interesting if you can make it happen. So his third, sing third special attack is very interesting and he has a unique debuff based on the elements so earth, water, fire, air so it's random but he tends to gravitate towards a certain types of elements so I hardly see the heal block debuff applied most of the time it's static shock yeah most of the time it's static shock or armor break most of the time it's static shock sometimes it's stun, sometimes it's static shock Sometimes really you see armor play, sometimes you will see heal block just for me though from my experience of using his element gun. As you get into a very high combo, your normal attacks will do more damage than your your normal attacks will do a lot of damage they can just, just, just use your normal attacks and heavy attacks, normal attacks and just whack your opponent to death. Special attacks are awesome too. You can use his special attack one when your opponent is charging to gain addition of 20% more damage. Which is awesome. High damage dealer. And he's a fun character to play with. Because he can deal a lot of damage. Well, well what I'm saying. I keep saying the same thing, man. Right? Yeah, and uh, probably I'm keep saying the same thing. And Star Lord. Do you like Star Lord? What do you like about Star Lord? You think they should use his ship, his Sentinel Space Vessel ship. This is. as a. you know, animation kind of stuff. It'd be interesting if you can see his ship using some kind of blast from his ship or something like that. Mm. So Star Lord, how do you feel about him? Do you like him as a character in this game? Do you like him as a character in Marvel Universe? Do you like his character in Guardians of the Galaxy movie? Are you excited for the next movie? Next Guardians of the Galaxy movie? Do you think he is able, ever able to find his father in movies? Timeline sometime. But do you think they'll never reveal his father in the movies? I like 
think he's stout though, but he'll be quite interesting if, if you can see him, you know, take off his mask. Maybe there'll be a variant where he will off his mask, maybe a real different variant, different costumes. What kind of costumes do you want him to be? What kind of variant do you want to be? For example, there's an upcoming Daredevil, we should have a different reskin in the arena, coming very soon. So, would you like to see a reskin for Star Lord? Well, for a reskin, would you like to see new special attacks? Maybe new special attacks that make use of other weapons other than his animal gun. Maybe some kind of new kind of. Oh, he's a tactician, he's a very good with different kind of weapons, so. So, it'd be interesting to see you use different weapons. Very interesting if you got, I can ask the whole Gunner Galaxy team to come together and do his third special attack in a different kind of reskin Star Lord. So, Star Lord, what do you like? Do you like his hassle? His hassle looks kind of boring to me. Looks kind of boring, kind of safe, kind of hassle, but then again, he has been sp in space for so long. No space. Hmm. It means maybe they're not a particular on your hairstyle. Since their aesthetics may be different. And he's a bounty hunter. Hmm. Bounty hunter, crafty. He's a legendary star lord, legendary outlaw. Do the kind of weird kind of stuff, stealing orbs, stealing fire orbs or stuff, right? Not really files, what I'm saying. Not files. What was that orb? The. Oh. Uh, I remember is the Infinity Stone. He stole the Infinity Stone from a deserted planet. As in, why would it? Be, why would the planet be deserted? If this is an Infinity Stone, it must be very important. Why would they leave it there? That begs the question. It's very interesting when you see the few scene. When you see the scene, he's dancing, he's listening to music, he's kicking the lizard, kicking the fierce galactic rats. All to the rhythm of the song. It'd be nice if he, you know plays his music in one of his special attacks or listen to music and dance or like kick around his opponents that'll be very interesting and now let's take a look at his first special attack his first special attack when being blocked and that is first special attack with not being blocked and now let's take a look at his first special attack in slow motion because everything looks better in slow motion and you can pause and see in slower motion by changing the settings in the youtube interface and you can see the damage clearer there that's a lot of damage for a special attack. That Starlord looking into the distance as a visionary, as a leader, as a half blooded Spartan. Half blooded Spartan, half blooded Earthling. And now we we'll take a look at his signature ability, so we'll try to get it to his. Try to get his combo. So, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you can get to see the damage increases. You can see clearly increasing. Now let's try to get a 20. You can see the crit does a lot of damage. 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, two, 9. So now it's like 2 times already. You can see the huge increases and you can see the huge damage. Let's see it slowly. See the huge damage. This is his second special attack. Demon gun, 1465, 2309, 264. If the last hit was a crit, you have dealt a lot of damage. And that was just having like 23 hit combo. So his signature ability is very, very useful indeed. Now let's take a look at his third special attack. So he hits Iron Man, pushes him down, reaches for his element gun. Element gun is jammed. Oh no! Why is it jammed? I don't think we never use his animal gun in the movies. Maybe you. Did he use his animal gun in the movies? I didn't, don't really recall him seeing him using his animal gun. Maybe he did, I didn't see. Well, he was in the spaceship mode most of the time, so. I see him karate chop and karate kick. And there, he takes the animal gun, prepares to shoot. Iron Man makes it. Tries to dash. To hit Star Lord. Take advantage of Star Lord's weakness. Star Lord in crisis. Starlord manages to shoot just before Iron Man hits him. And that dealt about 6744 damage. And that's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. And Starlord is a decent character. He's a very good tech character. In terms of offense, he's awesome. Hope you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Peace.